Stage three. This is another short day in the saddle. The 145 and a half kilometers from Ajaccio to Calvi represent the last stage on Corsica, but despite the distance, it will be anything but easy. The day starts out with the category four climb Col de San Bastiano, and it's 3.4 kilometers with an average gradient of 4.6%, serves as an excellent place for a breakaway to be established. The stage's intermediate sprint comes after 28 and a half kilometers in Sagone. The sprinters won't have much to say at the finish today, so those targeting the green jersey will have to stay alert and take points here. The route follows the coastline for some time before heading towards the next climb of the day, the Col de San Martino. With its 7.5 kilometres, this is the longest climb the riders have to face in the first three days, and we could already see a small selection as none of the favourites want to lose any time this early in the race. After Col de San Martino, it's time for the Category 3 climb Cote de Porto, which comes after 75 kilometres. It's only 2 k's long, but with an average gradient of 6.4%, many could be in trouble after this hilly start of the race. There are 53 kilometres from the top of the Cote de Porto to the beginning of the next climb, the Col de Marcelino. It's a Category 2 climb and its average gradient of 8.1% on the 3.3 kilometres towards the top will make a big impact on the size of the peloton. The finishing line in Calvi is placed just 13 and a half kilometres from the top of the Col de Marcelino and opportunistic riders with strong descending skills such as Thomas Vockler or Sylvain Chavanel will definitely have this stage highlighted in their roadbook.